Hey, Bill, I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that say stick up. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Bill, I'm in the mood for a change up. I leave the city and return with my change up. That can do some serious damage. Y'all, we are pulling up to another lake on the East Texas trip. Welcome back to the channel, man. Weston Smith out here, Devin and I are going to get out onto the water at a lake where actually the previous Texas state record bass was caught. Yes, yes, yes. I wanna show you how sketchy the ramp is and also the road in here. Just be careful, man, because it gets pretty narrow with a little bit of drop off on the way. Anyways, only large mouth, 14 inches may be retained. This place has got a little slot where you cannot retain any fish between 14 and 21 inches. So uh, if you're catching fish uh, like in between there, you can't put them in your live well. You gotta take your pictures, put it back, or just skip the pictures, what have you. Now if you catch one under 14 inches, you can retain those. So you can keep you know a few of them. If you catch one over 21 inches, you can only put one in the live well. So you can really only hold on to one good bass each day. So if you guys are curious on what a slot lake is, this has a daily bag limit of five bass, but you can only hold on to so many of them. So there's that. So you might not be able to get your picture at the end of the day with all your lunkers. Anyways, check out this ramp. You know, it's fine. It goes straight back, looks nice. And then you investigate and there's like a big half circle taken out of this thing. So we are just going to hug the grass line and try and go straight back. And hopefully the trailer doesn't pull one of these. We'll see what happens, man. It's a small lake. I think it's like, I don't know. The other ones we've been hitting down here have been like less than 700, and I want to say this one's like less than 600 or less than 500. Probably not less than 500. A storm has actually just passed you guys, so we are going to be unstrapping the cover off the hot tamale, getting her prepped and ready, plug in and hit the water. All right, you guys, we're looking for like a seven or an eight or something. I mean, like this has gotta be the one. We've been losing all of our biggest fish the last few days on this trip, if you guys have been following. If not, be sure to check those out. I'm gonna start off with the frog real quick. Devin's throwing a chatterbait. Clarity is quite delectable. Not crystal clear water, but I mean, it's got some fantastic visibility. With that being said, chatterbait to start and a frog over here by the grass. It just stormed, so sometimes after the rain, these bass will hit top water, sometimes they'll turn off. It just depends on what time of year, what time of day, what a lot of variables. You really don't know. You just gotta figure out when you're coming to a new lake, you gotta try and find the pattern. You gotta really just see what works. We're gonna be throwing everything in the tackle box until we get the first bite, try and pinpoint what they're up to. Rest assured, we will let you know. All right, on to dock number two. Looks promising. Now I got the, uh, I'm outfitted with the Texas rig. Guggen Bates Mondo Worm, four rod hammer hook, quarter ounce Wu Tungsten weight, and I would say this is the 17 pound Guggen Squad line. We're rocking a Guggen prototype rod, y'all. It's kind of like a moderate heavy, I suppose. I don't really know. It's just whatever we got. And then the uh, Metanium DC. So that is the old setup from head to toe at the moment. Devin's still in the chatterbait. There's, there's bigs all around us, guys. We're looking on live scope. It literally said in the report for this place, like 10 pounders are fairly common. I was like, uh, wait a minute. Okay, let's hit it. <laughs> so crazy small like huge fish um, apparently you know supposedly we might get zero bites today we might also bring in the biggest fish of our lives we might get a bunch of little guys just gonna have to wait and see on that but it is gonna be fun we got ourselves spot locked over here where we can see these fish uh, suspending a little bit off the bottom but at the same time they're a lot lower than at the last lake we fished a semi nearby with that thermocline layer about 10 feet down seems like they weren't going below that thermocline layer and these fish seem to be hanging out pretty close to the bottom guys we had to investigate we literally just saw a bunch of fish jumping out by this uh, twig out here and well i should say tree <laughs> and when that happens we rush out here i figure maybe there's some crappie hanging out on this tree or something and the bass are targeting them oh i got somebody else's line that's not ours i wonder what's on here looks like braid or i'm sorry it looks like mono or fluorocarbon a portion of it seems to be around the prop. That's good. Oh, yeah, we do have a little bit of line around the... Uh... Let us try and get this stuff off the motor. Yeah, but I need something to wrap it around. Wait, let me see. I got the gloves on. There we go. When you got momentum, you just got to roll with it. This must be monofilament. Ow! Spraying the line. 
that's why you always retie y'all when you got a fray in your line you will uh, lose a fish of a lifetime but in this case somebody decided to throw their line back in the water never know and you might need to save a little bit on some pliers go ahead and do that in the description we got all the Guggen Squad gear for 15 percent off oh thought I had it let's do a little more jeez all right y'all all that was around the prop that can do some serious damage if left. Always be checking out if you feel like you are bogging down or things of that nature. We just happened to feel it on a retrieve from one of those casts, so got lucky there. Okay, back to fishing. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh. Behind us. Get in there. Something is around here. Start cranking. Y'all, we're gonna finesse things down a little bit to see if we can get one of these suckers to bite because there is a lot of fish right here, like 10 feet. Uh, 10 feet down. So we're gonna tie on a catch code bait the death stalker. You guys have seen this thing before I just ordered a ton of new colors tough to pick I don't really know the name of this color, but look at that. That's a fire looking bait little blade bait Just gonna tie a quick palomar knot yeah. Yep <laughs> Is it a bass? We don't know what it is oh. <laughs> It's a bass All right yeah. First bass on the lake, man. That's what we're talking about. Trophy size yeah, right there. Is. That's what it's known for. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you, bud. <laughs> Thank you. I know there's big ones here. Just got to get the little ones to fire them up. Well, I wasn't recording, but we got another one. Little crank works too. <laughs> Sick. Oh, God, chill. Oh, no. All right, have fun out there. We are rocking the trebles. Sweet and bigs. Right there, right there, right there. This is different than anything we've hit this whole trip. It's like awesome looking hydrilla grass and it just tapers off so nicely. The water's clear and we got down trees right here in the shade. I mean, this looks like we might just pull something out right here. If you can, go, 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 go. Over there by the tree, by the tree, go, go, go. go, 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 go. Oh my God. Go, 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 go. You've got to get them. What? There's fish this way. Oh, there we go. Yes. Finally. Uh, I don't think so. He's maybe little. Yeah, he's little. Nice. He's little. Nice. These are the guys that are schooling. <laughs> this is the size of the fish. Look at how fat they are. They are schooling under all of these bait fish. They're just going crazy all around us. It's like striper fishing all over. We got to get back in there. Thanks, bud. Got him? Yep. All right, another one. Oh, God. <laughs> this place is known for bigs. Literally caught the biggest fish in Texas here before. This place held the record for Texas, and we are on the Giants. Told you it'd be on. I think we should go back there kind of close to that tree. Got him. There you go. That might not be a bass. I don't even, I don't even know. I wonder if we can get like a... 10 pounder on this stuff. Oh God, they're going crazy. Holy crap, we gotta get over there. The cranks and blade baits, man. Shallow diving cranks, little things. We just saw like a baby shad on the surface that was dead. And I mean, that's what they're hitting. So we are matching the hatch entirely. We got a bunch of batteries in here. We got the off brands, Artman, Wasabi, the cheap stuff. Uh, they do just about as good as the regular GoPro batteries. And then once we've gone through a few, I'm gonna charge these again. We got a USB drive installed aftermarket on our Ranger. This is the RT188P model. And so uh, there's actually a couple stock, but this one being out in the open is easy to just kind of toss some GoPro batteries, let them charge as we continue to fish. And uh, it's good because we're on like a three day trip hitting lakes over and over and over again. So we burn through a lot of batteries so we can charge them up on the water. Uh, we got two USB ports here, two on the front actually that we had installed. And there's actually two in the coin box, but like I say, this is just easy access. So let's get the blade bait back in the water. Oh, they're coming out of the water. And there we go. I got them. You got them? Yeah, I got them. Nice. I got them. I got one. Come on. Double up. First double up of the trip. Oh, Come on. I got like a pound and a half. That one was oh. almost two pounds. Was he? That one was literally getting bigger. Okay. These guys are by no means big, but they are vicious and they are feisty and they're a lot of fun to catch. I'm just working them with this three to six foot diving crankbait. Look at, look at his little football shape, little chunk. Guys, check out one of our latest purchases from, I think, Academy. I'll link these down in the description, though, if I can find them, because they are off the chain. It's like 25 bucks, big one-time investment, but, you know, probably the same price as a freaking 24-pack. I don't know. So, uh, speaking of 24-pack, we got some beverages in here, but I'm not going to partake in that today. I'm looking for something specific 
There she is. Look at that, y'all. You know as well as I do, fishing in the summer heat, your drinks get hot fast. And check this stuff out. By the way, this is not paid or sponsored by Yeti. This is actually like our first Yeti product we've ever owned. Devin's gonna catch this fish real fast because they are schooling right here hardcore. She's about to get the first big one of the day. But look at this thing. I mean, seriously. Oh, her crankbait's Okay, I gotta go. Hold on. Get him, right there, to the left. To the left now, y'all. Mm, little bait this time. Yeah, blade bait, let's go. Oh, turn it up. He almost hit. He literally, I just got whipped at, but I don't know what's going on with these little treble hooks. They're so tack sharp, and yet I'm missing fish. La di da. Swim back real slow now. Mm -mm, mm. Oh, there we go. You got him? Yep. All right, Devin's on. There we go. If you feel like it's big at all, you just let me know, because I'm going to go for the net. I don't think so. You don't think so? There's some more out there. Okay, I'm on it. Oh. Oh, 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 the biggest one of the night. <laughs> one biggest one of the night. <laughs> He's a little bigger. Honestly, no. All right, I gotta let him go. All right, bye. Ugh. Oh wow, they are out there now. Things have changed up. I don't know if it's for the better or the worse. Look, as my drink is staying ice cold. This is insane. It's literally in the sun and it's staying ice cold. Yeti in the description. Oh my God, they're going crazy. This is why you come visit this lake right here, you guys. I can hardly see either. I am way to the right. I screwed that up. They're straight ahead. We gotta switch spots quickly. Drink's still cold. Literally just all the bass like organize and say, let's go just eat. Let's spread out, we'll trick the fishermen. Here, you go to the 20 yard line, I'll go to the end zone and we'll just throw them off. They'll be thrown all across the football field. This is ridiculous. I am trolling with the blade bait, y'all. This is gonna yield some results. All right, man, back to my Yeti. Oh, geez, the water. Let's keep that on ice because it's not in the Yeti. See, that's actually gonna get hot. So I wanted to tell you more about the drink I'm sipping on because look, Sometimes you ain't always gotta be sipping on a cold one. This is that recovery drink, low calorie. This is Fit Aid. I love this stuff after like a workout. Anyways, it's good when you're fishing too. And sometimes you just wanna sip and savor. That is what this thing is good for. You know, if you're gonna be chugging a cold one, then that's one thing. But if you wanna enjoy your drink, this thing will sit out here for a couple hours in the sun in that front holder or any one of these holders on deck. And she's gonna be cold till sunset, I can guarantee it. Yeah, plus, you know, if y'all wanted to, you're not always getting this for the boat. If you just want this for the backyard or something, I'm pretty sure. Don't they make like Michelob's and all those beers and like these style cans too? You got your White Claws in the style cans. I mean, it's all these style cans nowadays. Your Red Bull's out here on the water. Whatever you want, man, this thing will take care of you. Once again, not a paid endorsement by Yeti. I just actually kind of like this thing. So y'all can check it out, top of the description. Look at that bass. Oh, oh she's telling me live scope's on. Look, look, look at the bait. They're getting scared. Look, that bass is on the bottom. He's eating. East Texas, but like, so crazy. There is danger at every turn. You cannot run these places. Y'all, look, that bass. Oh my gosh, they just had their fill and they're going back down deep. That's so crazy. Y'all been getting on them? Dude, we've been chasing them all around for the last hour. They've been going crazy. <laughs> I was curious. I thought you guys were all standing still over there and we're like moving all over the place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we'd be up to like 10, but half of them come off. We're just throwing small baits, little trebles, so. They're getting hit, but uh, not all of them are staying pinned. Woo! All right, there we go. Okay. We live north of Dallas. We just came down here, staying in Nacogdoches, trying to hit a few of the lakes. Might be something hiding back here. Y'all, this has happened to us once already. It puts pressure on the cables. The trolling motor like has sank all the way down. Here's how you fix that. You loosen this thing up right here. It's already kind of loose, so that's the problem. And it has to be halfway between stowed and deployed, like all the way in the water to actually like get this thing to budge. And that's kind of a pain. I grab like, I grab the bottom of the unit. Was on the prop <laughs> now it hit the skeg not the prop probably yeah there's no topo chart or whatever here y'all and uh it's tough to just tell where the hazards are turns out they're everywhere so just be careful if you come out here uh we're in like 24 foot of water and just still kind of creeping over those stumps well y'all nothing of size at the uh old texas state record lake but we had a lot of fun it was a crazy night actually i thought that was more fun than most of the other lakes just casting and catching those schooling bass so uh yeah we're trolling right over to the truck and we got like a 45 minute drive back to the cabin. It's our last night there, so we're gonna try and wake up early and hit one more lake tomorrow. You guys stay tuned for that. Uh, hit the notifications if you're not already. But guys, we're gonna load up the hot tamale, spray her down, clean her up, cover, and uh, get back to the cabin. Probably have a little dinner and hit the hay early so we can wake up tomorrow. And I'm still trying to edit tonight a little bit, so gotta balance everything for you guys. One a day, uploads, let's go. Um, well, let's see. 
<laughs> Barely made it. Not all the way down. Yeah, a little lower. Hey, Bill, I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a stick up. She picks a perfect, so I told him I'm a pick up. Bill, I'm in the mood for a change up. I leave the city. All right, we're just off the side of the road. We're going to clean her up. Straight to the stage, they love me. love me. I understand they hungry, but please don't hate, that's ugly. I've been sliding, shaking.